to my channel and welcome to another die cast restoration video. So before we start that I'd just like to thank all my subscribers, all the new, for joining me um, and thank you everybody for all your comments and all your support and um, you know I know I haven't been so prolific with my videos lately um, Hopefully I'm going to be doing a lot more now. Um, I am going to be away in a couple of weeks time for two weeks. We're going to Chester. I, I might have mentioned before. So I'm going to try and organise my videos around that. Um, but anyway, today's video, I hope you're going to enjoy this one. And um, it's a model that was donated to me a little while ago by Mr Ian Halley. So thank you very much for that Ian, it's much appreciated. I've got a few more of your models that you've sent to me to do. And um, I hope you like what I've done with this one. So this week it's going to be uh, Britain's Ford Tractor. Um, and it's a 6600, 6600, that's the model number. And... Um, well, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So, as I always say, please sit back, relax, enjoy watching the video, see how I got on with this one. And I can tell you, I did have some fun and games with this one. I really, really did. Okay, enjoy the video. Right, okay then, let's take a closer look at this one. So, I'm not sure if this is the right driver. Um, I can't get him off now. I think this is off a, off a different model. Still Britons, but anyway. Um, so, these mud guards, discoloured. Um, somebody did a go at repairing that one, the little lugs that hold it to the foot plates are broken off. Well, that that one, both of those have been, that one's been, had a piece stuck on. And uh, this one's actually still got them on this side, so that's good. Um, the mud guards are discoloured. And um, they'll need painting, because I don't think they'll come off, that's... That's sort of discoloured into the plastic. Um, other than that, it's pretty much all there. Um, apart from these arms and hook. It, the arm has snapped off there. So we'll have to change that. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. The steering all works. Um, I'm not a fan of these later steering wheels. They're solid. I know it makes them stronger, but they look a bit naff. Um, I did think about drilling out those three bits and filing to make spokes again, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Might be better just to leave well alone. Um, the wheels are okay. Quite often the older ones the tyres have melted onto the rims or the rims have gone all kind of melted and distorted. This one's okay. The hydraulic lever works. Um, oh yeah, and we're missing a cab. And I had got a couple of cabs. I remember 
or if you remember I put them in one of my purchases videos I think it was the last was it the last one or the one before I can't remember not the very latest one but the one before um, so we'll sort one of those cabs out for this but yeah other than that it's got the later plastic front on there other than that's a pretty good pretty good uh, model a little bit of wear in the steering not in the steering in the front wheels um, don't know we'll see whether I just leave it or try and put something in the middle to make the wheels a bit less floppy we'll see ok then that's uh, that's that, the exhaust is missing and the um, air cleaner mushrooms missing but I have got some new ones, reproduction ones for that okay so dismantling time let's get on with that okay right I've got the cab you see it's broken there um, so anyway I'm going to use this one it's got a bit off the roof there as well unfortunately um, don't know if I can sort that out but anyway might be a case of putting a bit of filler or something along there we'll see right tractor now not easy to see this is held together with a sort of rivet and it's just there. It doesn't really look like a rivet. Hang on. So it's this bit just in here. Now it's not holding by much but to start with we've got to get this wheel off. This back wheel which is just pushed on but I don't know if this one's been glued no it's coming off so they are that's off now we can get all the fluff and hair off bits of carpet off so that's off <laughs> in the bin right so with that off the mud guard will come off okay so with the mud guard off you can take the hydraulic lever off because that f sort of goes on the mud guard well, that's the wrong way around for the mud guard now, but anyway it doesn't matter so turn it round and then you can pull the whole of the wheel off and this mud guard should then pull off but it doesn't want to come so that, that's sort of stuck I think in that it's stuck inside this casing he doesn't want to come off that's coming it's coming it's tight ok that's it so there you see this piece of mud this mud gorse see it goes through the, the tractor and it's this one fits inside that one so that's quite simple and straightforward so these mud guards are filthy in the wheels so that will go in the ultrasonic cleaner right the seat just pulls off that's just that little square or rectangular piece there pushes onto that bit there right now these little plastic um, bits that go onto the lift arms they just pull off just gently pull them off because they're very very brittle so, so 
same with this one. It pulls off these arms. There, be very, very careful. And you see which way they go. You've got the wider bit of the shaft. I don't know if you can see that. It's narrow down there, it's wider up there, so that wider bit goes on the top part. On the, on the top uh, part of the hydraulics. Right, that's those off. Okay, so now what we'll do, get the screwdriver in there, but be very careful. You can put a bit in there or in there, but be very careful. Um, because you know when you prise it apart it's not worth drilling that because it's not enough holding and you don't want to spoil the engine like block if you like so put your little screwdriver in there and just gently prise it apart you can see it's going And it should go. There you go. There, it's apart. So when you got that apart, these front wheels, the whole lot comes off, and you need to unhook this little wire, which just like that, and leave it on the front wheels for oh it's come off now anyway, so so that's that's that off. Later we'll have to, um, you know, file the axle down to get these wheels off, these front wheels off. So now we've got this little plastic front piece, so don't lose that, that will come out now. That will just press in at the end, but anyway, I, I didn't want to prise it out with a screwdriver because you end up damaging it. So that's plastic. Oop. Now these lift arms are just falling out. So don't lose those because they, they go at the back. Now th this has come out, so we've got to replace this piece anyway. That's the hook and, and the two hydraulic arms. So there's only one hydraulic arm, so that's got to be replaced. But this top piece, um, I think it can go either way. Don't lose that. Okay, so then the steering falls out. Because once the two halves are apart, there's nothing to hold the steering wheel in. So that's that. So you see what I mean? This rivet here, you know, it just pushes through the hole in this side. And so there's very, very little holding this tractor together. So you just use a bit of super glue um, to hold that together. Just on the rivet. Um, you know, well, there's <laughs> there's one down there as well, but is that like I say, not much holding them. So you glue there and glue that one. I forgot about the rivet at the back. Now I can't brush it apart now. <laughs> oh dear, there. You are. So that's all it is. It's it's relatively simple. I mean, I didn't have a clue how it came apart before and I did have another old one that was not very good and I thought okay I'm going to have a go see how that undoes and I actually drilled that one out there I wish I hadn't on it but you know when I realized there wasn't much holding it that's how it all comes apart anyway okay so these decals um, I don't know if I can get those off or get one off anyway. Um, I do want to make some new ones, but I can always, if these don't come off, I can always just get a picture, Google it, get a picture, and then shouldn't be too difficult to size these. Use a bit of masking tape or something in the gap. I can't undo this. 
I don't know if they will undo it. No, they're just going to tear. So, we'll have to just play around with that on the laptop. Okay, so, that's pretty much it. Um, caustic soda time. Well, for the metal parts anyway. And the plastic parts will go in the ultrasonic cleaner. And that will include the cab. That will include the cab. Okay. So, we'll see you over at the caustic soda bath. I was jumping the gun a bit when I said that. Um, we've still got to file, get these wheels off. There's an awful lot of wear in them. Um, there doesn't look to be a thick side and a thin side. They pretty much look the same both sides. So the only way to get that off, you are going to have to file these. Or in this case, I'm going to have to file these. I can find my piece of plastic which I've lost. Was there? But we, you, you know, put the piece of plastic over the end, not to damage it with a file, not to damage a wheel with a file. But I'll have to find it. Anyway, I'm going to do that. You know the script. You've seen it, seen me do it before. It's just file the end off and the, until the wheel comes off. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then we'll see you at the caustic soda. Okay, I've done that, but unfortunately the wheel is so brittle it's just fallen apart and there's a great big crack across it. So I think with this one here we're going to have to find a replacement wheel. Unless I can glue the bits back, but they are down here, the two little bits at the centre of the, the wheel, you can see there. Um... Anyway, once the wheels are off, the axles are off, this axle pin here, that just comes out like that. Okay, so that's it all dismantled. Okay, <coughs> in with the water. And in with the old caustic. Oh, that's coming out nice and blue already. Okay, so I'll leave that in for a few minutes. It's nearly all gone already, look, it's nearly all come off. So I'll leave that in for a few minutes and then um, uh, next time you see it, it'll all be nice and cleaned up on the bench. Right, okay, I've got these arms. Now, this pin here, on this side, it's broken off. So what I've done, I've drilled out a hole there, I don't know if you can see. The hole I've drilled, very small, it's not that big, and I've cut this panel pin and filed it down roughly to the right shape. So I'm going to glue it in the hole there and um, hopefully it'll pretty much resemble the other one. Okay, there you go, job done. It's that one. So it looks pretty much like the other one. So that's that sorted. And um, right, okay, that's it all cleaned up. I brushed and cleaned with methylated spirits, so all ready for the primer. Um, I'm not going to do it tonight because it's dark now. 
um, not long back from work and uh, I'll do it tomorrow if I've got time and I get back if it's not raining outside and um, yeah so I'll come back to you when that's done okay that's all the bits prime got the primer on um, I'm gonna go out and paint the colour coat blue on there and then uh, I'll come back to you when that's done so this is the blue I've decided to do it um, so it's the Motip Hotelac acrylic and this is all it's got on the lid so it's 45060 so it must be the code number there is no particular colour just the colour of the cap so that's what I'm going to use ok so I've done the put the filler in that hole in the roof and I've sanded it down um, it looks alright now so I'm going to go and paint that ok then it's pretty much um, assembly time now there's a lot of uh, bits and pieces here and we've got to remember as we put it together to put the right bits in at the right time so I've had a bit of a job with these wheels because I've had to paint them obviously um, and the paint's not that great uh, like when you put the tyres on <laughs> it, it sort of can peel the paint off and because I put the tyres the back ones are not too bad the front ones these were yellow and this was what I was waiting for it was an old trailer that was knackered but the, the, the four wheel Britain's trailer and it had plenty of wheels on so I got these wheels but they were yellow and I have painted them but because I heated the tyres up to get them on because they're quite hard I put them in boiling water when I put them on because they were hot it softened the paint and it pushed the paint as I put the tyre on I put it from the inside it pushed the paint right through if you see what I mean so it's not great around the where the tyre meets the wheel it doesn't look great but anyway um, I've painted the hubs blue because how they would be in the real tractor or on the real tractor now I haven't peened this over but I just filed enough so that when the tyres came or the wheels came off they were very tight so I've done that on purpose um, I put them on and I've pushed them you know over that so that I don't need to peen them over because they're tight enough they won't come off now you see this is the problem I'm going to get is because the wheels rub on this axle part here so as soon as they turn straight away it's going to take the paint off it's a bit like a peeler so there's not a lot you can do about that you know that's just one of the things of painting the wheels that's what <laughs> that's what will happen now before you put these or well, this axle through to put the wheels on make sure you've put that pin in place because if you don't put that in before the axle you won't get it in okay so that's that anyway right so let's move some of these bits across out the way um, that's the axle for the back that's the steering alright um, we want the two halves that's uh, I took the paint off when I pushed the mud guard on I pushed it on before to see because I repaired it I put a hot screwdriver right through it the same size and put a piece of plastic slotted it in the hole I made with a screwdriver and glued it and I tried it on the step to make sure it fitted and it pushed the paint off so there's not much point in me touching it up because it'll only push it off again when I put the mud guards on 
and you won't see it anyway because the mudguard will be over it. Okay, so we need these two halves. We don't need that front yet. I've put um, a homemade vinyl sticker on the front of that. Oh, yeah. I can't do it with one hand. I don't know if you can see. It's not too, too bad. It's not brilliant, but what I did, I was going to use the original sticker, and I just didn't think about it, and I chucked the whole front in the in the um, ultrasonic cleaner. Of course, when I got it out, the old sticker had all but vanished. Right, so there's loads of different things you got to put in um, as you put this together. So it's just trying to remember. For a start off, um, you got to put the steering wheel in. That's that's for certain sure. So you mustn't forget that. So put that in with that bit downwards. So if you put it in and you put it forwards, and then you know if you let it go, it's it's going to go down to the right position. So that's where that should be. Now you're going to have to put this this pin in there, but you've got to make sure that the axle has got that hole towards the back of the tractor. You see that hole there for the for the steering rod. So you've got to make sure it's pointing to the back of the tractor, and it's on the left side of the actual tractor. So that is not going to be easy because of having it flat on the ground I'm going to have to sort of hold it up you need about 10 hands to do this you really do in fact it's not going to be easy at all yes. it's not going to be easy at all not at all at all yeah well hang on let's get the other stuff first because this has got to go in. This has got to go in to a hole down there. Like so. Um, let me think. This has got to go in as well. And I think it goes this way up. So that's got to go into there. I'm wondering if I'm better putting these first. I might clip these plastic pieces on first. They just push over. That's on. Yeah, that's that's probably easier doing it like this. They just push over the top. And that'll hold all those gubbins together. That should make it a bit easier. Should. Doesn't guarantee it. It should. Now it's trying to get all these pieces in. And hold them there when you put the, the other bit on. Now I think this piece will go over the top of the mud guard. I can't remember which way it goes now. So I'm going to have to look that up. I can't remember if it goes that way I'm going to have to look that up hang on I'll come back to you what I think what I'm going to have to do is put this piece on Oh. 
this is nigh on impossible it really is so put this piece on and pinch it there then try and get this piece on And this piece in here. And oh, that's not going to work either. This has dropped too far down there. For goodness sake. This isn't an easy model to put together, I tell you. Okay. Well, that one's come out there. Oh! Crying out loud. This is a freaking nightmare. For goodness sake, now that's gone down too far, that's got to go there. Come on, I'm starting to get pissed off now. Sorry about the language, but I am getting cheesed off because this isn't going together. It just is not going together. Okay, right, I had to walk away from this because it was pissing me off. Um, I couldn't get it together. I left it, I'll come back to it. But I, I couldn't get the two sides to go together, so I had to clamp it and glue it. But the glue has made the paint go a bit dull on the front. Uh, and I've had to touch it up a bit as well because I chipped it trying to do things. Um, it's a pain in the arse, this one. <laughs> right, pain in the arse. Right, okay, so let's do a bit more. So I think what I've got to do now is get this mud god which I've painted. Um, I had to paint them because they were all discoloured. The only thing I, I have found and with this cab I did, um, I painted the roof, um, you know, and then I did the blue, I mastered off and did the blue, but when it looked nice, and then I lacquered it, and it brought the yellow discolouring, a very slight um, bit of that yellow discover discolouring, it's brought it through, the lacquer seems to have drawn it out, and it's done that on the mud guards, and a bit on the wheels as well, so... It's a bit unfortunate, but I didn't want to do it all again. Um, I've made a windscreen for this one. It's just out of that old food packaging, so it's not um, brilliant. It's a bit textured, so 
it's got a few scratches I have tried to polish it but it's um, didn't really do a lot but anyway they are supposed to have a windscreen in there and that one was missing so I've made that so that's, that's got that now <coughs> excuse me um, yeah so anyway I've digressed a little bit uh, right let's get this mud guard through see it's got a bigger bigger piece than that one and this should go through from this way through this hole and click there clicks in and these two little plastic tabs one on the top one on the bottom clicks onto the foot plate okay so with this one We've got this hydraulic lever, so that's got to go through this side, so through this hole. So if I lift that up, okay. It, that works so I've just got to try and push that in there there you go so that's it that's in that's nice and tight the hydraulic works look it doesn't go as high up as I would have liked it to but uh, not much I can do about it that's probably the way it's made and we have replaced this part so it might not be quite 100% the same because it is from an older model okay so that's in anyway um, let's put the seat on next so this square bit in there clicks onto that piece in there that square or rectangle that's sticking up just pushes down onto it that's it paint's a bit better the paint is uh, makes it a little bit harder to put it on now we've got to make sure oh god I'm dropping everything we've got to make sure these wheels threads on the tyre pointing it the right way so that's the way we want it to be that going forwards so we'll get the other one we'll get the axle so we'll pass that through now Peter Horton's going to say you made a mistake there Nick and I know I've made a mistake I shouldn't have put those centre hubs blue um, only the bit that's shiny there on the axle should have been blue and where the wheel nuts are those little bumps like I've done the front wheels that's how this one should have been and I did it without thinking and once I realized I'd done it well I'd done it and I thought well I'm not going back on it I'm just going to leave it like that so it is slightly incorrect okay so we'll put that axle in from this side in there and we we'll try to get it right the way through that's it got it through there now this wheel should just push on should just push on and it's these wheels um, I think this axle might be too long to be honest with you no, it's going in. That is pretty much what should hold the mud guards in. And when you see the mud guards all flopping around, it's it's because the axle's not fine enough. And it it doesn't seem to be fine enough like that. No, it's not going to go in anymore. 
but anyway these mud gods with the paint they're nice and tight okay so so far so good now I've got the front obviously to put on so I'll put a couple of little spots of glue on it it should just press in but it's um, not brilliantly tight so I'll put a little bit of glue on it a little bit each side that will hold it maybe a little splodge in the middle there that should be enough to hold it in and then that just pushes in like so there okay that's that bit now we've got a reproduction um, exhaust pipe so that's going to go that way with the old cap that flaps up and down stop the water going down when the engine's not running that goes to the back okay so that just pushes in there it's a bit loose that one actually could it could be a bit tighter the reproduction one it's not a great fit um, I don't know if I should just put a little splodge of glue on that and all just to, not too much because you might want to get it out again just a little dab on the bottom there, yeah, that would be enough that would be enough, I'll make sure I put it the right way wait Okay, and then this little air cleaner mushroom. Now that one's a little bit tighter, so I think that'll be all right. That one. I'll say it's tighter but it's not a great fit it's not a very great fit either now I've got the guys you can see him lying in the back the old driver but I don't know if I want to put him on because he doesn't fit very well and to me he looks a bit oversized for the tractor uh, I don't want it because I'm going to end up buggering all the paint up if I put him on uh, what I might do, I'm going to clip these bits that they usually put on to hold them on. I'm going to cut those off. That's what I'll do. I'll cut that off. And there. Then he can just plonk on there that's better that's better because see he's not even right he's not holding steering even so he doesn't go far down enough he's not the right position I don't know if he is the right driver I've seen pictures of this driver on anyway I painted him up a bit so cab put the old cab on Come on. There she goes. That's it. It's done, I think. We're done. Um, what I might do before I put it on a turntable, I might put a bit of hand lacquer around on that front bit where the paint got dulled a bit by the um, super glue that I put on. It's a bit like the windscreens, you know, it, it sometimes dulls the paint like that. But it's not really, oh, I don't know. If you didn't know, if I hadn't said anything, you probably wouldn't notice it, to be honest. It's just me. <laughs> I'm a bit finicky and 
when I know something's like that, it kind of bugs me a little bit. Oh, that can's not quite. Well, that's better. It wasn't quite clipped on. Yeah, I'll see. I'll have a look at it. Okay, so I suppose all I've got to say now is thank you very much for watching. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Been a bit of a pain in the arse. <laughs> but we got there in the end. And um, yeah. My thanks again to Mr Ian Hulley for sending model. Um, it hasn't turned out too, too bad. So, what I'm going to do is the usual. We'll do some outdoor shots. Um, I'll put it on the old turntable so we can see it before and after again. Remind ourselves of what it was like before we started. And um, then that'll be that. But what I'm going to do, and I think probably in the next um, video, next restoration video, I'm going to do something that will go on the back of this tractor. I'm not going to tell you what it is now. Um, but I might, I'm probably not going to leave it for two weeks before I put another one on. I'll probably put this one on next week. So, that's what our restoration will be next week. It will be something that goes on the back of this tractor. So I hope you will enjoy that one. Um, I don't think it's going to be too, too long. But, you know... I hope you'll join me again to see that. And um, until then, well, look after yourselves. Take care. All the best. And we'll see you in the next video. See you next time. Abby, Abito. Bye.